So this is a, a pretty involved example using nodal analysis. What they're ultimately asking us to do here is to calculate the total power absorbed. That could also be seen as the total power supplied by these three current sources, one at each node. And uh, we'll look at that later because that's that seems like the easier way to do it because that's the only thing driving this circuit is those three power supplies, our, our current sources. So, but let's uh, let's go ahead and see if we can solve this one using nodal analysis. So first, uh, we want to start with this node here, and so we're going to go around each branch there and 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 add up all the currents leaving and entering the node, and uh, setting that equal to zero. We're going to do that for each node. There's there's three nodes really in this circuit, and we'll look at those. So first we see we have this current source here, uh, and we're defining current leaving a node as positive, so that's going into the node. So that'll be a minus one uh, for, that, for that branch there. Next we see uh, we have this one ohm resistor, and so we can just invoke Ohm's law there, and so that's gonna be V at node zero. Uh, over one and then finally we've got this uh, highlighter here got this resistor here and that's uh, we can write that one then as the difference in V0 and the voltage at node 2 over 6 and then finally you see we have this resistor here, this branch coming out of that node, and that one we can write as the difference between the, node, the voltage at V0 and the voltage at node 6, and that's divided by 3. So that's all the branches coming in and out of that node, so we should be able to set that equal to 0. Okay, so next uh, we want to go to node two, and the first thing we see there is another current source, so let's start this set of equations for this node, and that's another current source that's going into the node, so again, that's gonna be a minus two, and then we can see we already have one highlighted in green, the six ohm resistor, so we can write that one, so that's gonna be the difference in voltages between the voltage at two and the voltage at zero, divided by the six, okay? And so next, uh, we see we have the four ohm resistor here. And so we can write that one as the difference in the voltage at node two minus the voltage at node six over four. And that's all the branches for this, uh, going in and out of this node. So we can set that equal to zero. Okay, so finally, we have one last node of interest, and that's this node six. And so we see uh, right off the bat that we have this current source here that's driving that node. So we can go ahead and write that one, and it's entering the node as well, so that's gonna be minus 1.2 times VP. All right, and we know, we can see we already have red defined there, so that's going to be V6 minus V2 over four. And we can see we already have a purple, the three ohm resistor coming out of there. So that's going to be V6 minus V0 over three. And then finally, uh, we have uh, these two. Let me get we have these two resistors here, so I'll just do them both uh, in blue because I'm running out of colors. So the first one is going to be V6 over five, and then it's going to be V6 over two. And so again, that's all the nodes going in and out of, all the branches going in and out of that node. 
So if we add those up, it should be equal to zero. So now we want to multiply through and get rid of the numbers in the denominators and gather like terms. So for the first one, if we multiply through by a six, uh, then the and gather like terms, we should end up with 9v0 minus v2 minus 2v6, and that should be equal to 6. And then likewise, for this equation, if we multiply this one through uh, by 12, that should get rid of all the numbers in the denominator, and then gather like terms. When we do that, we should get minus 2v0 plus 5v2 minus 3v6, and that should equal to 24. And then finally, uh, this equation here, to get rid of all the numbers in this denominator, we're going to have to multiply through by 60. So if we multiply through by 60 and combine like terms, uh, what we should end up with is minus 20v0 minus 15v2 plus 77v6 minus 72vp, and that should all equal to zero. So there's one last uh, relationship that we can make note of, and that's this vp term here. And we see that vp is defined right here is the voltage across this resistor. So I'm gonna put it right here and say that VP then is just the difference in the voltage between node zero and one. And so since the positive sign here is on the zero side, we'll say it's equal to V zero uh, minus V two, which uh, we can rewrite that then, getting everything on the left-hand side. Um, that would be V0 minus V2 minus VP is equal to zero. So now we see that we have four equations and four unknowns. So this is our first equation, second equation, third equation, and fourth equation. And... Um, you know, to, to associate that with the colors, I mean, that's the yellow, uh, this is the red node, this is the blue node, and then finally this is the green node. <clears throat> so now we need to solve this. So we've, we've done all the electrical engineering part of this. Now it's a mathematical problem, right? So let's come down and do the, do the math. So we can set this up as a matrice so if we do that, um, we can set, I'll use the colors here just to keep everything clear so you can see where things come from. So using the yellow node, uh, if I write those, uh, those coefficients, be one um, minus one, zero, and minus one, and then come back and use the red it's going to be um, 9 minus 1 minus 2 and 0 and then I can use the blue and from the blue line we see we have minus 2 we have 5 we have minus 3 and 0 and then finally, from the green, we should be able to see now how this works. Should be minus two, five, oh, excuse me. I'm reading from the wrong line. Erase that. And it should be minus 20, minus 15, 77, and minus 72. So this is our four by four matrix. And these should be multiplying by V1, V2, V6, and Vp. And then we 
set these equal to the right hand side an array made of the right hand side from the yellow uh, we have zero from the red we have six from the blue we have 24 and from the green we have zero so here we should be able to just punch this into uh, most any scientific calculator you can find or you can just apply uh, linear algebra uh, methods and when we do that uh, we should come up with then uh, oh excuse me this is v0 v2 v6 and vp so when we do that v0 uh, should be equal to 0 0.631 volts v2 should be equal to 3.811 volts. V6 should be equal to minus 2.07 volts. And then finally, VP should be equal to minus 3.18 volts. All right, so now we have the voltages. So now they want us to calculate the power. So we're going to recall then that the power is equal to the voltage times the current. So doing this, uh, we should be able to find the power by summing up the voltage times the current for each of our nodes, nodes 0, 2, and 6. So each one of the nodes, we know the voltage at the node, we also know the current driven into that node, and those are the only things contributing power here. So if we do that, then uh, let's write this out, and and uh, I can do it in the color so you can see where, where these things are coming from. So the power, then, should equal to, so if we start with node 0, we'll use red for that, and that's going to be uh, the voltage we said was 0.63, and then the current is 1 amp. We can get that from the schematic. And then we can go now to blue for node 2. And we see there the voltage at node 2 is 3.811. And the current there is 2. Right? And so finally, if we go to node 6, which we show as green, I'll put it down here. Um, that's going to be uh, the voltage which for node 6 we said was minus 2.07, and then that's going to be times the current, which is 1.2, times Vp, which Vp was minus 3.18. So now if you multiply these out and sum them all together, um, we should get total power. I'll well, designate that with a T. Uh, equal to 16.15 watts. So this is the total power supplied and absorbed. So they asked us for the absorbed, but they've got to equal because we have conservation of energy, right? It has to be conserved. So if we calculate all the power that is supplied, which is from the three current sources at the three nodes, that should equal to the total power absorbed by all the resistors uh, in the network.